Welcome to HFBS training for Quick SOA. Quick SOA is possibly the most powerful tool available within the HFBS toolkit. Quick SOA is available by subscription to users that already have a login. To access the tool, you need to have logged in and selected your project, which we already have, and now you go to Power Tools and select the Quick SOA tool. This will take you to a subscription screen if you have not already subscribed. You can start a three-day trial and if you have not already subscribed you can pay for a new subscription. We will check the start a three-day free trial box and then press proceed. Now this is the quick SOA screen. You will see two sides to this screen and an information panel at the bottom. On the left hand side we have current project tree. That's our current project and where we will do our editing. On the right hand side we have a reference project tree. That's where we can copy from. At the bottom we can see primary information panel. That's where we will see our details to edit. We have a system prompts box at the top that will tell you what the system is doing while it is copying and deleting. And right in the center section we have a preferences section. You need to read these preferences because what the system is going to do is copy from reference to current according to this set of preferences. The update in entire project and update in selected department buttons relate to this update room feature here. This allows us to update one room across the entire project or across the department and I'll be showing you how to use that in a later session. Drag means copy or drag means move. If you're copying from reference to current, you can either drag it or move it. You can only move it, however, if you've got edit access to that reference project. Use reference department tags or select a new department tag. We recommend you leave it set on use reference department tag because you can edit it late, later if you don't want that. Auto create new room tag or manual room tag. We recommend you leave it on auto create new room tags. It will definitely save you time. Then we have copy room remarks, copy room amendments, apply your own amendment, copy design area. Tick these as you need. Copy room remarks relates to the remarks written on the rooms that you're copying from your reference project. Do you want to copy the room amendments from your reference project to your current? Do you want to apply your own amendment? If you want to apply your own amendment, tick this. Put in a date. And type in an amendment. First draft, for perhaps. First issue. And that will print on every page. This feature will save you a lot of time. Copy design area. Sure, if you've got design area on your reference project, tick it. Then all you have to do is look at these options, set them and close this section down. Now you're ready to progress to creating departments. To start, let's load up our project on our current side. The project will load and load a folder. And now we need to load up a reference project on our right hand side. Now we'll have standards available to us and normally we will start copying out of standards. And that will load and load up a folder. Now if you click the arrow beside the folder you will see what's available to you to copy from. And let's go back to our current project and click the folder. This is um, our new project that has no departments in it. So we're going to go ahead now and create departments. Now how do we create a department? We go to this button called plus department and a pop-up will appear. Simply put a, a name of the department in. So I want admissions and put a local tag in. Now that's a, a field you create. That can be own tagging system. And press OK. It will create that department for you and leave you a folder. So your department is now created. Now if I click onto that department, in the primary information panel at the bottom of your screen, you can see the details of that department. 
So I can see the name and the tag. The FPU code, I'm meant to choose a code most like that department in here. And that tells the system what to cost that department as. I'll select administration as close to admissions. Level is the level of the building if you know what that level is. RDL is role delineation level. If you know what that role delineation level is, enter it. Circulation percent. Now this is a, a figure applied to the net area to get the gross area of that department. And generally we get this out of guidelines. Now the requirements field is a report writer. Now you can write things in here like this department must be located next to administration. Whatever you write in here will print on schedules of accommodation. And save whatever you've typed in and it will print that there. The operational policy is another report writer and you can copy paste a brief in here. Anything you write in there you need to press the save button. Revisions, we recommend that you date this and keep it up to date. If you've made a first draft, write in first draft. And then just press the save button. Now you've created a department and you've edited your department details. Now we're ready to add rooms to our department. We generally copy out of guidelines, so let's go to our guidelines and see what we have available. We'll go to our folder called Standard Components and have a look through. Now the first room in our admissions department might be reception, so I'll go all the way down to reception, and these rooms are in alphabetical order and find the reception room that most suits what I'm after. Now all I need to do is highlight that room and drag it into my department. And it will bring that room in at 1000 tag. Now the room details will show up at the bottom of the screen. The very first thing I need to do is change the tag number. Now the tagging is something that um, each project chooses for itself and the tagging is something that you choose. Now this might be the tagging that I've chosen for that particular department so I just need to change that very first one and press the save button because HFBS knows for all of the rest of the rooms what that range is now. Now for my next room that I drag in might be a waiting room so I'll go down to waiting find the right size, highlight it drag it underneath reception and now it knows the number range so I don't have to think about room tagging any longer. So I simply do this to every room in that department. Find what I'm after and the next room I might want might be consult. Drag it in and I can assemble my schedule of accommodation very very fast. Now what if I want more than one consult room? How do I do that? I highlight that room and go to this box right at the bottom that says auto tag. I don't want to have to think about adding my own room tags here so I'll just go and click auto tag one, two, three for however many rooms you want. In fact you don't even need to keep count you just need to keep looking at that number of rooms. Then press the save button and continue to assemble your schedule of accommodation by copying rooms straight out of guidelines straight into your project and they're all compliant with guidelines. Instead of assembling your own department you could copy a complete department straight out of guidelines. Simply highlight the department you're after and drag it into your project. Italics while it's copying and the writing goes straight when it's finished. Now that it's finished we can see it's a complete department fully compliant and each room is fully detailed. Now you know how to assemble a schedule of accommodation. In the next session we will show you how to edit these rooms.